Hi, I'm Kelly Mottishead and I'm the inpatient midwifery matron here at Royal Stoke Hospital and I'd like to welcome you to the uh, midwifery virtual tour. During the tour you'll be able to see the areas in which you are likely to be cared for when you come in to have a baby with us. The antenatal clinic is where women who have more complex medical histories or high risk pregnancies are cared for by our, our obstetric teams, midwives and support workers. In addition, you may attend the antenatal clinic for routine scanning services, pre-admission clinics, fetal medicine services and lifestyle clinics. The MAU or maternity assessment unit is open 24 hours a day all year round and is our emergency portal. You can self-refer to the MAU department if you have any pregnancy concerns or concerns with your fetal activity and can be seen in the MAU department following your delivery for up to four weeks. Your community midwife or GP may also refer you to the part department for further advice or testing. Ward 205 is an antenatal ward where you may stay if you require admission overnight during your pregnancy. In addition, if your labour needs to be induced, the midwives will initially commence your induction in the ward area prior to your transfer to the delivery suite department. The transitional care department is located on Ward 205 and offers additional support to infants and their mothers who have more complex needs but do not require admission to the neonatal intensive care unit. It is staffed by neonatal nurses and midwives and the aim is to reduce the time that the family is separated from their baby. Ward 206 is the postnatal ward where you and your baby will be cared for following delivery. Midwives and maternity support workers will provide you and your baby with care during your stay. Length of stay can vary dependent upon the type of delivery you have and whether your baby needs additional observation. The average stay is overnight. The MBC or Midwifery Birth Centre is open 24 hours a day and provides support in labour and following birth for women and their families who are considered to be low risk. This means that women need to be fit and healthy and not have any complex medical or obstetric conditions. In some cases, women with more complex issues can be supported to deliver in the birth centre following discussion with the midwife and obstetrician. Here you will be cared for by midwives and maternity support workers. Low-risk labour care is provided within the centre, including the option for water birth. Within the delivery suite, women who are experiencing higher risk pregnancies are cared for by midwives, maternity support workers and the obstetric team. Here, doctors will have more input into planning your care and work closely with the midwives to support you. If you have a planned or emergency caesarean section, your delivery will be conducted in the theatres within this department. Families experiencing bereavement are also cared for in specialist rooms called forget-me-not rooms, where midwives with additional training provide you with the support that you need at this difficult time. The neonatal unit at Royal Stoke Hospital is a level 3 unit which means that most, the most premature and ill babies can be cared for on site by neonatologists, nurses and midwives. Student midwives are allocated to all departments within the maternity building and work closely with their midwifery assessors. If you do not wish for a student to participate in your care, please advise your allocated midwife. The maternity centre at Royal Stoke can provide you with support in all aspects of your pregnancy, birth and postnatal period under one roof.